Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. This morning we're here at Ormond Beach and you can see the ocean behind me. Starting the video here so you understand. We are going back to a house that we've been to before. We put in a crawl space system and a sump pump and that crawl space is actually below sea level. So it pumps all the time. That Zoller M98, it worked its little heart out, but it did finally burn out. So we're going to replace that. We're going to show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are at a flooded crawl space, and I'm just going to move the water around so you can see. This is about a foot deep, all the way back, as far as you can see. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is set up a temporary pump and start pumping this water out. Okay, we've been pumping about 15 minutes, and if you see that water line on the wall, see how far that's come down? Pretty far, right? That's probably four inches or so. I'd say we have about another 20 minutes and this will be dry enough where we can get in here and work and get over to the sump basin, which is over here, um, and see what's going on, going on with that pump. So this is a great video. I'm just putting it up here so you can see. This is a Zoller M98. It moves 100 gallons a minute. That's a fact. It really pumps water quick. Okay, if you remember this job, we put a sump pump over here and collection. Notice, you can maybe see that uh, catch basin is full. It's the, all the water that we're pumping out, you can now see the puddle, it's all come over here. And of course they don't have their pump plugged in. So, go ahead and plug it in. We're gonna plug in this Zoller M98 and let's see what happens here. All I can see is moving so fast over to that catch basin and now it's starting to pump water out. So we're gonna walk out front and see if that discharge line is the problem but oh well, wow look at look how quickly this is taking that water out you can see the flow is increasing remember we've got all that water over there it's coming across down and it's all entering just through one four inch pipe right here but you can see it's going down so quick unbelievable let's walk out front and just see how much water there is coming out of the street and you can see our two discharge lines here from the uh, crawl space. They're pumping tons of water out of here, coming out quick. So that Zoller M98 clear back by the shed, I mean, that's gotta be 250 feet or more. Look at that flow of water coming out of there, just coming straight out, goes straight down into the storm drain. Let's go back, I'll bet you that's almost dry around the, ca the catch basin itself. Okay, you can see we're still pumping lots of water from that crawl space. And yeah, this area is quite low. But take a look. I'll bet you that catch basin is just totally dry. Yeah, oh yeah, take a look. See how quickly that M98 took that water out? You can see that basin. It's just all the water we can give it, all the water we can give it and more. This pump, this M98, Zoller M98, is taking that water out faster than you can possibly give it. Okay, so remember, when you're disconnecting the old pump, that there's a check valve that keeps that water from coming back down the line and you can see how much water is in the line. So let's go ahead and let that drain out and we will go ahead and pull this pump. Got it. So you can see what we're doing is we're going to pull that old pump up out of there. We wouldn't recommend that you lift up on that pipe, but in this instance we're just pulling the pump out. We're going to set it outside here. So we're pulling out the old pump. I think the cord might be wrapped around the, one of the uh, joys. Okay, so we pulled the old pump. You can see it. I actually checked it. We hear that the motor come on, but there's no movement of the impeller. And we checked the impeller. It is running free. This pump is definitely burned out. A couple things we can do there, but we're not going to do them right now. What we're going to do is replace the pump. Here's a new Zoller M98 that we're, we were using to help pump out that crawl space. We see we've got half of it set up. Remember, male threaded inch and a half adapter screws into the port. Then we've got a small riser, and that attaches to the check valve. Check valve only allows water to flow one way. You see the arrows, tells you the direction of flow of water. So what we wanna do is we're gonna take off this bottom clamp right here, and then we'll make that same measurement of pipe on this one, and we can just put it all back together. So let's use your handy dandy Black & Decker, or whatever you got, Loosen that up. 
and pull that check valve right up off of there. That simple. A lot of crud in here. This is real normal. This is just, you know, debris and a lot of sand has been coming through the line. Looks real good. But we're going to make that measurement over here onto this pipe, cut it off, and then we'll put it all back together, put it back in the pit, and we're all done. So make your measurement, tra transfer the measurement. You can see they're pretty close right there. There can be some difference in this. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference because we do have a no hub, which is actually the check valve. Now we're going to set the check valve in place. And we'll retighten up that bottom clamp. We'll actually tighten them all up to be safe. But, and it doesn't really matter which way it's turning because we can set that pump at any direction down in the sump basin itself. So we're going to tighten up all the clamps starting with this bottom one and make sure that it's as tight as it can get. There's little grooves that these clamps sit in. To try to line those up. Once you get it started on there, just as tight as you can make it. Your drill does have that little safety clutch on it, but just as tight as you can make it. You can hear that clutch going. That means it's really as tight as it can go. Now let's go ahead and tighten up all the clamps just to be safe because we've been pulling on that pipe instead of the handle. We want to make sure that everything is in good, solid condition when we put it back. Always best to lift up this handle when you put your uh, when you're pulling your pumps up when you pull on that pipe you can pull apart any clamps or even a glue setting that doesn't matter it can definitely come apart okay so you can see a sump basin is still full of water it's actually got a higher level than the uh, water in the crawl space but that's okay that's normal is you know water is not entering the the pit it enters through footer pipe see the gravel down there that's footer pipe that's gravel around the pipe and everything looks really normal we're ready to set that pump down in place and then we'll use the no hub to attach to the discharge that we cord through the wall okay so we've got the new sump pump down in the crawl space We've unplugged the one that's by the shed. This is from the crawl space. And then more than that, can you see the sand along the sides of this? It's already pushing sand out of that sump basin. That's how much sand gets into your basin, no matter what you do. <laughs> but looking really good. Now let's go plug that uh, pump that's by the shed in and see if it can handle both of these. This is an inch and a half pipe. What a great test. We're gonna put two Zoller m 98 down one inch and a half pipe. Let's see how fast they work. Okay, so we have two Zoller M98s pumping down a discharge line that's inch and a half. Take a look. No problem. Both of these pumps can easily push hundreds of gallons of water per minute. And even in an inch and a half pipe, it works great. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.